Hi, I'm Voice Rogers, AKA Grandmaster Rogers. You may recognize me as the martial arts historian in Hidden Colors 5. They did not do for black people. There are people that question the civil rights movement now because they actually were learning, they started learning. A lot of you didn't, didn't learn this until you got older. Uh, you started learning about all the businesses you had that are now gone. You started learning about all the institutions you had in your community that are now gone. You started learning about all the communities you had as opposed to neighborhoods that are now gone. You know, you, you start learning about how your children were being educated at an excellent level before integration. And that's all gone. Right now, your kids are 18, 20 years old, can't hardly read. Right. You know, because you, you wanted to go to their schools. You wanted to go work for their companies. You wanted to go spend your money at their businesses instead of your own. Uh, and you want to basically fit into whatever they had going on as opposed to continuing to build what you have going on. You see, inter I come here tonight and plead with you. Believe in yourself and believe that you're somebody. And as I said to the group last night, nobody else can do this for us. No document can do this for us. No Lincolnian Emancipation Proclamation can do this for us. No Kennesonian or Johnsonian Civil Rights Bill can do this for us. If the Negro is to be free, he must move down into the inner resources of his own soul and sign with a pen and ink of self-assertive manhood his own Emancipation Proclamation. Actually, let me ask you about something you said yesterday. Uh, you said we should never be reliant on a foreign country for the means of our own survival. Yeah. What did you mean? Well, I've been saying that for a long that, time. That, well, we're reliant on many countries where we uh, give up our supply chains, we give up our factories, we give up our production facilities, and we can buy it someplace else for a little bit lower price. But it's really costing us more when that happens because we lose jobs, we lose everything, and we lose our independence, and we can't let that happen. So we'll be making some changes. We're we familiar with by in name. They never, never, never address the primary problems of black folk. Our primary problem was not social integration or civil rights. The primary problem is you never corrected the legacies and burdens of slavery. Mm. See, the whole point of slavery was to do what? They never asked that. It was to socially engineer black folk into the lowest level of a real-life monopoly game, and what, what means that they've maldistributed almost 100% of all this nation's land, resources, rights, privileges, businesses, and controls of all levels of governments into the hands of the dominant white society. You came out of slavery in 1860 having one half of 1% of this nation's wealth. Here you are 150 years later, guess what? You still own one half of 1% of the wealth. And in a nation, in a race-based society, it is what you own and control that determines your equal opportunities and your rights and privileges. Is that an darn thing to do with civil rights? to give the Negro any land. Through an act of Congress, our government was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that it was willing to undergird its white peasants from Europe with an economic floor. And this is what we are faced with, and this is a reality. Now, when we come to Washington in this campaign, we are coming to get our check.